We were spending, we had to make it so cheap, but it was hard to make it cheap and have it accurate. And we were so, we were so like spent so much time trying to make it uh, precise, meaning if I moved um, the mouse on the table one inch, that the cursor on the screen moved exactly one inch. We spent a lot of time doing that. And then as we started to test it, we realized it doesn't matter. Right? Your brain's in the loop, right? So your brain's going to move it from here to where you want it, and it's going to stop. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's an inch. It only matters that since your brain is, if you draw the circuit diagram of the mouse and the computer and the human, there's a, there's a, there's a processor called your brain in the loop. And, that, and then, so, like, we can make the thing much cheaper because we, um, we, we weren't, it wasn't about accuracy, it was just about the perceived um, place where the cursor was and that the person would adjust that to be, without thinking about it, to be exactly right. So, so there, and there are a hundred things like that. You know, the ball made noise on the table. There was these, in those days, I explained to my students when I give the mouse trick. There, in those days, there was these things called pencils, and they had, um, they had this, they had this, this pink thing on the top. And so what would happen in the original mice was they'd pick up the eraser gunk off the table and jam it up into the into the optics. And so um, the, all the original mice uh, uh, had, uh, our solution was that the ball was removable so you could blow out the junk in it. It wasn't an elegant solution, but th that's what it was, was. That's the reason the ball's removable, because we'd pick uh, uh, stuff off the desk. So anyways, there's lots of stories about the mouse, but that's the kind of, the, the kind of how we got going on it.